scorpion bison has moved a step back from the brink of extinction. The largest land mammal was almost wiped out by hunting and deforestation. Its recovery is now being regarded as a conservation success story. Take a look. Once widespread across Europe, several centuries ago, the continent's largest land mammal was hunted. Its numbers declined dramatically across the continent. After the First World War, the remaining population of the European bison was hunted out. This left the species extinct in the wild and only surviving in captivity. Reintroduction efforts began in the 1950s. The wild population grew from around 1,800 in 2003 to over 6,200 last year. Its status has now improved from vulnerable to near threatened. This is for sure a positive change and it is necessary to thank all of those who contributed to this result. At the same time, what we have to focus on is to make sure that this change doesn't result in less effort to save the European bison because it is said that the European bison will only be saved when their population reaches 10,000 which has not happened because there are about 8,500 of them. The European bison's recovery is the result of rewilding efforts across the continent. Births every year mean that there are 27 of the thick-haired horned mammals roaming in reserves. This change nicely illustrates the story of European bison as a species that was completely extinct in the wild after the First World War. They survived only because of international efforts and after the Second World War, they gradually returned to nature. The Red List highlights the plight of over 35,000 species now threatened with extinction. Over 128,000 species have been assessed, including plants, animals and fungi. The Red List breaks down threatened species into three categories. Vulnerable, endangered and critically endangered categories. The recovery of European bison has now demonstrated the power of conservation. Human impacts have been cited as the main cause for many species nearing extinction. All of these things are down to human activities, whether it's you know direct uh, hunting or fishing or harvesting of the species to introducing invasive, invasive species, changing habitats to agriculture, urbanization, uh, climate change. We've really seen climate change coming through quite strongly this time around with increasing frequency and, and intensity of fires in South Africa, Australia, California. Uh, warming of the oceans, that's having an impact now on lots of species. We're now starting to detect those trends. So it, it, the human footprint is everywhere. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.